everyone, in this video tutorial I'd like to take a look at how you can use H2PDC reduction in order to get an alkylated benzene group. So let's say that you have an exam question where you start with benzene and you ultimately want to go ahead and make this alkylated benzene group. Now you may be tempted to use Friedel Crafts alkylation. The problem is that this over here would require you to use an alkyl halide that would undergo a carbocation rearrangement such that this would not be the major product of that particular reaction. Instead, we're going to look at how you could actually use Friedel Crafts acylation followed by reduction using H2PDC in order to arrive at this product. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we then can use the H2PDC reduction method in line with Friedel Crafts acylation in order to make the product we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our benzene and right here we're going to react it with an acyl chloride via Friedel Crafts acylation method. And if you're curious about that, there is a link to a video related to that in the description below. So once these react, we now get this group over here, where this ketone is directly adjacent to the benzene. And that's going to be a key, because in order for the next step to happen, you can only reduce a ketone that is directly adjacent to a benzene ring. Because that is what we have in this case, we can then react it with H2PDC, such that this is the final product that we get out. So this is one method you can use to bypass the complications of the Friedel-Crafts alkylation reaction.